When I heard the news today, I was actually overwhelmed, like, because I'm just like, there is a bit of hope that justice still exists somewhere here, right? So yeah. I'm so excited, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm so overjoyed to hear it. And at the same time, I'm really grateful for the lawyers and for the Rebel News, of course, right? For, you know, for, uh, for helping you. us out and being able to lift this injunction, because at this point, it just seems like socialism was here, or I mean, communism was here much sooner than anticipated. Freedom of speech means you can say something that offends someone, and there's nothing else that he can do about it. When they do something to stop it, that is what fascism is. Celine Gallus here for Rebel News. After weeks and weeks of Jody Gondak, City of Calgary, injunction against protesting, it's now come to an end. And not even days after the Democracy Fund filed an appeal to have the injunction dropped, was it lifted? I find that timing very, very curious. If Calgary's mayor, Jody Gondak, could slap an injunction down without due cause in the first place, what's to say that she's not going to be able to do it again if she disagrees with the politics of fellow Canadians? It all started on March 18th when City of Calgary Mayor Jody Gondak implemented this double standard injunction against protesting. I'm just really curious because there's still an injunction in place, correct? Like where amplification isn't allowed and such. I was just wondering why it's allowed in this scenario and in this circumstance and not others. They have a permit. Yeah. They have a permit. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if you apply for the permit yeah. and um, it's enforced, then it actually supersedes the injunction. She hinted an injunction may be brought forth after publishing a series of tweets denouncing the peaceful protesters that have been protesting over two and a half years against the COVID-19 restrictions and the now remaining vaccine mandates. An Alberta Court of Queen's bench justice granted the injunction, which prohibited ongoing violations of existing bylaws and legislation. Thereafter, Heavy police presence could be observed every following Saturday as the freedom rallies continue to take place despite the injunction. Suddenly, such trivial day-to-day -day occurrences like honking became an action that could have you ticketed or even arrested. Our Rebel News team covered the rallies every week. Police arrested counter-protesters, protesters, and even an independent journalist whose arrest was testimony to the absolute failing efforts of the mayor's heinous injunction. All right, so we're here today. It's Saturday, the rally's going on, but the injunction is not in place. How do you guys feel about that? You know, I feel great. I think freedom, freedom of expression, you know, I support their right to have the left to have any protest they want. They want to have a socialist rally, a uh, free Palestine rally, go for it, it's a free country. But if we want to have a pro-Israel rally, a conservative rally, a National Citizens Alliance rally, they should respect our right. And I do respect the right to protest. I don't respect the right to interfere in our, pro in our protest. Let's keep things peaceful and civil. Well, it's good that they're taking a step back. Unfortunately, I think that it's mostly due to the hockey playoffs coming up, so they just you know, want to let back a little bit, but uh, it was wrong in the first place and it would definitely be wrong going forward as well. We've been peaceful, you know, definitively. I'm so excited. I just want to walk down the middle of that street right now and just be like, freedom! <laughs> That's what I want to do. And I love that people can honk freely yeah. because why can't we? Well, they're not going to get arrested now, right? No, but you know what? This morning when we were just down by the Tim Hortons, there was a bunch of, like, vehicles that drove by from, like, I think another rally this yeah. morning. Yeah. And they were honking like crazy, and one of the police chased after them. So maybe he was a little confused about the injunction and thought it was still in place. You know, I don't even think it changes that much. They, nothing they do can ever crush our spirit or stop us, really. We just like water. We work around. We go around. They've never slowed us down even a bit. Man, actually, when I heard the news today, uh, unfortunately, I've been, I fell off recently, but just haven't followed. But um, when I heard the news today, I was actually overwhelmed, like, because I'm just like, there is a bit of hope that justice still exists somewhere here, right? So yeah. I'm so excited, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm, I was so overjoyed to hear it. And at the same time, I'm really grateful for the lawyers and for the Rebel News, of course, right? For, you know, for, uh, for helping you. us out and of being course. able to lift this injunction, because at this point, it just seems like socialism was here, or I mean, communism was here much sooner than anticipated. So that's kind of how it felt. Because she put this injunction in place without any due cause, what's to say that she's not going to do it again in the future? You know, she has been very immature. I view her as a child trapped in an adult body. It's the same with Nayit Nenshi calling us racist, homophobes. 
And I know it's frustrating for many of us to say, we've been doing all the right things, and we're seeing these idiots walking through the shopping mall, putting other people at risk. We're seeing people who don't seem to understand the basic tenets of their own faith, putting their congregations and other people at risk. So why am I doing all this work when these folks can get away with that? And I get it. I know that it is unbelievably frustrating. And I know it's even more frustrating when we see horrific scenes like we saw in Edmonton on the weekend where they're not even hiding their white nationalism in those protests anymore. It's not at all about masks. We know what those torches mean. I'm openly gay. There's black people over there, Asians, East Indians, Native Americans. They, the left has more every shade of white. They have the anti-fascist, uh, anti-fashion sense is what I like to call them. And I have, she does not know what she's doing. Most Calgarians voted against her. No, actually a lot voted for her, yeah. but that's the truth, right? Yeah. It's, it's government overreach, and we need to ask who is pulling her strings, right? Because a lot of these politicians are just front persons, and there, there could be big businesses or um, big law firms pulling the strings, so that's what we got to get to. But it's outrageous that they would do it. It shows that they're not on firm ground, the fact that they won't enforce it, right? Yeah. So, and also, it's a bad sign for our, our, our city, our province, our country, where it's going. Yeah, the future of Calgary, right? If this is something, yeah. The future of Canada to boot, right? So, right. it's very, very troubling. But one thing that would help is very honest, transparent media. And unfortunately, that's almost gone in Canada. And that's supposed to be a cornerstone of democracy, right? An in independent media provides a check on government. We have the opposite. Most media is in bed with government. So we're, we're in big trouble. The sound of freedom. <laughs> the sound of freedom. <laughs> Thank you so much today. Thanks. freedom of speech is? Freedom of speech means you can say something that offends someone and there's nothing else that he can do about it. When they do something to stop it, that is what fascism is. I don't know. I think we've shown that we're a well-behaved group of freedom fighters and nothing's been broken. Nobody's been getting assaulted except for our friend Devlin, who's uh, also not allowed to attend this here, but that was due to the police attacking him, not the other way around. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out in the courts. I don't know. Maybe, but... She doesn't have a ground to stand on anymore, right? I feel like it's been taken out of her hands now. And, excuse my language, but I think she's yeah. So, she should just resign. Do us all a favor and resign. Oh, she wishes. I mean, she has the threat out there against us right now if we behave badly. But uh, we didn't do anything wrong. She did something wrong. I think she got called out for it. And it's just empty words. And we're not going to uh, be afraid of that, no. We need help. This is an Antifa infiltrator right here. He is not with us. This is Antifa right here, everybody. This is Antifa right here. Yeah, go. Oh, go. Go. Who's walking with him? Fuck out of right now. Why? Go. He's in here. He's Antifa. Get out of here. Traitor. Go. Traitor. Shame on you. Go out of here. 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 So it looks like there is an Antifa member that has been spotted at the very front of the parade walking down the street here in Calgary, Alberta. Um, he's holding a flag, his face is covered. They're usually always masked so that their identity cannot be revealed. Um, it's very cowardly, I might add, but um, obviously he's not receiving a warm welcome for the rest of the, f of the freedom fighters. Do you have a message? Do you have a direct message What's that you're message? willing to share? What is your message? Why are you here today? Freedom isn't free. What do you mean freedom isn't free? Tell me more. Well, you have people like this that unfortunately are going to do whatever they want to do. And what are you doing? You're not doing what you want to do then? Oh, I just want to come out and wave my flag. There's nothing wrong with taking a red ensign for a walk. I mean, for sure, there's nothing wrong with waving a flag, but if you don't have a message and you remain masked and you won't identify, then that's probably an issue for this crowd. What do you think? Oh, well, I thought you guys were more tolerant than Antifa. What's your message today, sir? Freedom. Freedom! His message today here is a freedom. The hypocrisy... 
The hypocrisy continues to spread, ladies and gentlemen, on the streets of Calgary, Alberta. So he's like here to make us look bad, pretty yeah, much. That's, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're going to post pictures of him and say that he's with us. Right, similar to what they did in Ottawa. Absolutely, that's exactly what Antifa did well in Ottawa. There was actually like a counter-protester earlier that was like running around, this white guy yelling, white supremacy, white supremacy. I'm like... What is wrong with these people? It is laughable, isn't it? Do you think uh, Mayor Gondak will put this injunction back into place if uh, this group's politics continue to uh, disagree with her? Oh yeah, totally. I mean, I have, I have no doubt that right now they're probably fr figuring out any other ways that they can put a, a similar injunction again, or I guess, yeah, I have no doubt that they're gonna try again. So. Yeah. And if that happens, what do you think that means for the future of Calgary going forward? If, if freedom isn't freedom and people can't actually protest, what does that look yeah. like for the future of our city? No, obviously that just means no democracy, and I, and when I say democracy, I mean it in the way like in literal literal form, not the way that Justin Trudeau throws it around around, you know. So um, I think they're not really thinking; they're not they're only looking at the short term. They're not thinking far ahead because because if you're able to do this as a mayor, what if if it happens to be a mayor that actually opposes some of the things that she stands right, for, right. then this can be used against you know people that are standing up against us specific mayor or anything that the government anything against the government yeah. so like they're not really thinking far ahead they're just nearsighted you know so um yeah that's that's unfortunate that's that would be terrible for calgary and that's a wrap here folks so today april 30th marks the day the first freedom rally without this injunction in place <laughs> and that is the consensus throughout this group. It doesn't matter if there's an injunction in place. It doesn't matter if there isn't one. These people will continue to show up and protest peacefully against vaccine mandates and COVID-19 restrictions. For Rebel News, I'm Celine Gallus. If you want to find a way that you can support Rebel News and keep us reporters going with boots on the ground, giving you live updates all the time, you can go to rebelnewsstore.com and you can check out all the awesome gear that we have there.